XRP's price predictions are all over the map. Some people swear it'll hit $10,000, while others think 500 bucks is pushing it. But one thing is for sure, a recent 52-page model from an ex-JP Morgan quant has thrown the market into a frenzy. This isn't just another baseless prediction, it's grounded in solid math, and it's worth taking seriously. The ex-JP Morgan quant has outlined how XRP could realistically reach $500, and I've taken the time to replicate his work. Spoiler alert, it's not as outlandish as it sounds. In fact, he's being a bit conservative. In this video, I'll walk you through the math and logic behind it, and we'll look at both the bullish and bearish factors that could impact this prediction. Let's start with the big picture. The global Forex market which is the world's largest market with a staggering $7.5 trillion traded every single day. That's trillion with a T. In comparison the entire cryptocurrency market is still tiny but, here's the thing, Ripple's entire goal with XRP is to disrupt cross-border payments and the global Forex market is a huge piece of that puzzle. So, imagine just a tiny sliver of this $7.5 trillion pie being captured by Ripple and XRP. To be exact, we're talking about a 1% market capture. Now, let's do the math. 1% of $7.5 trillion per day equals $75 billion. That's an absolutely massive number, and it translates into huge demand for XRP, an asset with a relatively small supply compared to the trillions in daily transaction volume that would flow through it. But before we get too carried away, it's important to understand that Ripple isn't just targeting the Forex market directly. Ripple is positioning XRP as a bridge asset that enables liquidity solutions across global currencies. This is where things get even more exciting. The demand for XRP isn't just about people trading it for profit. XRP is designed to facilitate fast, cheap cross-border transactions, solving liquidity problems that many financial institutions face today. So as Ripple grows and more institutions adopt XRP for payments, the demand for the token will increase exponentially. If even a fraction of the Forex market starts using XRP for liquidity and settlement, we could see the price surge like never before. But hold on, this isn't just a numbers game. XRP's price prediction doesn't rely solely on transaction volume. We need to take a look at the velocity of XRP, which refers to how quickly XRP changes hands in the market. As more institutions adopt XRP, the velocity will likely slow down because institutions are more likely to hold on to XRP for long-term positions rather than trading it back and forth like retail investors. This means that less XRP will be circulating at any given time, creating a deflationary effect and pushing the price upward. If XRP is being used for liquidity but is held for extended periods by institutions, there will be fewer tokens available for active trading, which will only increase demand for the remaining supply. In addition to this we also need to consider Ripple's token burn mechanics. Token burning is a deflationary tactic where a small portion of each transaction is permanently removed from circulation, reducing the total supply. Ripple has built this mechanic directly into its protocol. When XRP is used in a transaction, a small fraction of it is burned. Over time this burn rate could add up to significant reductions in the circulating supply, which could further drive the price of XRP higher as the token becomes more scarce. Now it's important to note that the burning process isn't necessarily a huge factor for price increases on its own, but when combined with massive demand and lower velocity, the token burn could act as an additional catalyst for price appreciation. However, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. There are several bearish factors that we need to consider which could derail the $500 prediction. The first and most obvious factor is competition. XRP isn't the only digital asset targeting cross-border payments. Stellar, or XLM, is often compared to Ripple, and it has a similar goal of disrupting traditional financial systems with its own blockchain. The central bank digital currencies, or CBDCs, are another potential threat. Governments around the world are starting to experiment with digital versions of their national currencies. While Ripple is actively working with some countries to integrate XRP into their CBDC plans, the rise of these national digital currencies could threaten XRP's dominant position in the market. Another concern that could slow down the adoption of XRP is regulatory risk. While Ripple has made some significant strides in the United States court system, the broader regulatory landscape for cryptocurrencies remains uncertain. 
governments around the world are still trying to figure out how to regulate digital assets, and changes in the regulatory environment could delay adoption and dampen XRP's price growth. If regulators crack down on XRP or Ripple's business model, it could have a chilling effect on the market. Despite these potential obstacles, the overall market trend points to hyper-bullish adoption scenarios. Ripple has already forged key partnerships with major financial institutions, including Santander and SBI, and its involvement in central bank digital currencies is positioning XRP to be the go-to bridge currency for cross-border payments in the future. The network effects Ripple has built over the years are impressive, and if Ripple continues to secure new partnerships and expand its ecosystem, XRP's value could continue to increase as adoption accelerates. Now, let's get back to the $500 question. Can XRP really hit 500 bucks? Honestly, while I think that number might be a bit of a stretch in the short term, $50 to $100 seems much more plausible in a hyper-bullish scenario. At that price range, XRP would likely be part of the financial backbone of the global economy. This would mark a major turning point for cryptocurrency in general, as XRP would have proven itself not just as a speculative asset, but as a true player in the world of global finance. Even if XRP doesn't hit 500, a price point of 50 to 100 dollars would still reshape the crypto market forever. But don't get it twisted, 500 dollars is not out of the question in the long run. While we are looking at a future where blockchain and digital assets dominate global finance, there are a lot of moving parts that need to fall into place. If Ripple continues to expand its partnerships, sees mass adoption in global payments and continues to burn tokens at a significant rate, who's to say that XRP couldn't reach a price like $500 eventually? The world of finance is shifting rapidly, and Ripple has positioned itself in a way that makes it a potential pillar in the future of digital finance. So, what does this all mean for you, the XRP holder or investor? Well, regardless of whether XRP hits $500 or not, the math behind its potential is incredibly compelling. Even a $50 price tag would forever alter the landscape of cryptocurrency and the global financial system. XRP would become a core part of global payments, and the institutional adoption we're seeing today could snowball into an irreversible trend. If you're holding XRP, you're not just holding a cryptocurrency, you're holding a key piece of infrastructure that could play a massive role in the future of finance. So in conclusion, the $500 prediction for XRP might sound a little bit crazy at first, but when you actually break down the math, especially when you look at things like the global Forex market capture, token burn, and institutional adoption, it really becomes clear that there's a real tangible path for XRP to see some significant price increases. Whether we're talking about 50, 100, or even higher, XRP's journey is definitely going to be one to watch. And even if the $500 prediction doesn't come true, the shift in global finance that Ripple is helping to facilitate is honestly something we should all be paying attention to. Thank you so much for watching, and I really hope this deep dive into the math behind XRP's price predictions gave you a little more clarity. Whether you agree with the $500 prediction or not, it's pretty clear that Ripple is doing something truly groundbreaking in the world of finance. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more in-depth analysis on XRP, Ripple, and the entire crypto space. The future of finance is here, and honestly, we're just getting started. For more updates on XRP, Ripple, and the world of blockchain technology, just check out our other videos. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of the latest insights from the world of cryptocurrency. Disclaimer. This video is for educational and informational purposes only. It is not financial advice. Please do your own research and consult with a financial advisor before making any investment decisions.